Mets hosting the Cubs, and the Cubs are minus 146 on the money line. The Mets are plus 124. The over-under is nine and a half runs. The Cubs laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 115, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by a minimum of two runs. And the Mets getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 135, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. Talion did not pitch against the Mets either last year or this year. The Cubs are 7-3 as a team in his last 10 appearances. They've won his last five. He's averaging five innings pitched and four and t- uh, 4.2 strikeouts per game in those games. The under has hit in his last two games, and the under is 3-1-1 one one in his last five. He's got an ERA of 1.4, and he's averaging six innings. Two earned runs, five strikeouts, back-to-back games with one earned run striking out four and striking out six. Three earned runs striking out four, no earned runs striking out four. For the Mets, they're 2-3 and three in their last five with Carrasco on the mound. He's got an ERA of 4.2. They've lost his last three starts. He's averaging four and two-thirds innings pitched, and three out of his last five games have gone over. His last two have gone over. He did pitch once against the Cubs this year, six and two-thirds, one run, one earn. They won that game 10-1 to one in Chicago. He struck out four. His last outing, six earned runs striking out no one, six earned runs striking out two, five earned runs striking out two, four earned runs striking out five, and then no earned runs striking out four. So he's allowed a minimum of five runs in his last three starts. Head-to-head, the road team is six and four. The Cubs are six and four against the Mets. The Mets are on a two-game winning streak. The favorite is on a four-game winning streak. The favorite is six and four on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is six and four. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The over is hit in their last two. The over is five, three, and two in their last 10. And the under nine and a half runs is eight and two. The Mets won today 11 to two. The Mets won the game, the last game they played before uh, 10 to 1 and then the Cubs won the two previous games to that 7 2 and 4 to 2 The Cubs are 6 and 4 in their last 10 2 and 2 in their last four the overs hit in their last three Went losing 8 nothing then beating the Braves 8 6 and 6 to 4 the loss 8 nothing was to the Braves and then losing 11 2 to the Mets The Mets are 3 and 7 in their last 10 1 and 3 in their last four and the over has hit in four out of their last five games. The over is six and four in their last ten. Getting swept by the Orioles 10-3, 7-3, and 2-0, and then beating the Cubs today 11-2. The Cubs have been playing well with Tallien on the mound. I kind of was hoping that it would have translated today, and I was wrong, but I don't think that they're going to lose tomorrow. Cubs with the money line, Cubs laying the runs, and I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.